This is a video looking at using and playing the arpeggio. A little bit, a little bit of advice from me, which I found very useful when uh, making my album, which is called Boss Box, and I used a few tracks with arpeggiators on it. So I'm using Cipher Two by FX Expansion, which has got loads of 5D touch on it. That gives you that great possibility on the C bar block to explore the different timbres and sounds. So I'm going to just give you a couple of tips on things that I've used when I've used the arpeggiator. Don't forget, of course, the first with it having its 5D of touch. As I pressed in there, the tone changed. If I just release, that sound changes. If I slide away, and then I can glide. which is very useful. So those are the, the different 5Ds of touch which are available on, on, on the roller, which is wonderful. So you've got these five degrees of touch, which make it wonderful when you're playing sort of arpeggiators. So let's start one off, off we go. So then I'm gonna add, I've got a C there, and now I'm gonna add the G. I'm gonna add a B flat and an E flat to give me a C minor. So now if I start to move my fingers, so let's say I press harder on this middle one, to change the timbre of that, I slide away on that one. Slide away on the other. So you can see there I was sliding and pressing more more different presses on certain notes, bring certain notes forwards and certain notes back. Another thing I really like to do is actually just move a sound. So look at this stone here, I'm gonna move it slowly so we get all the different tones, all the notes between a tone and a semitone. Listen. If I move within that to a different chord, sliding down on that top note, nine a third, eleven on the top, nine in the middle, slide away on a bit of that. So I hope that helps. That's a few things I find really enjoyable when I'm playing uh, arpeggiators. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Seabot Block videos. Bye for now.